Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you trim envelopes in Reaper. Now, if you're not familiar with automation, I'd recommend checking out my automation video first, as this feature is a bit more advanced. Now, the idea of trim automation is to trim or adjust automation that's already been recorded. And up until now, it's really not been possible in Reaper, unless you use the VCAs, which I showed you in a trim automation VCA video. But now with this new feature, that's unnecessary. We could do that right with our trim envelopes. So to show you this, let's start by automating a track. I have a guitar in front of me. Let's see what it sounds like. So we're gonna automate the volume of this track. So we'll go up over here to our envelopes and we'll choose volume. And that creates a volume envelope right here. Let's choose an automation mode. We'll right click the track. Let's use touch. So it's only gonna record automation if I touch the fader. And then it'll punch out and record it again if I touch it again. So let's automate this guitar. And it recorded the automation right in this lane. I brought it down for this part and for this part. But now as I listen back, I might wanna change it. But I don't wanna redo it or re-record it. I wanna basically trim it or readjust the automation based on what's already there. And we can do that with trim envelopes. We'll go back to our envelopes. And right here is a new one called trim volume. And this creates a new envelope down here. And if you notice, this one's a bit different. This envelope only has the option to make it visible. We can't arm it, and you'll see why. So let's close this. So now this envelope is also gonna affect the volume for this track. So if I create a few points here by holding on shift, I bring this down. This second note, we're not gonna hear. But if you look at the fader on the track over here, It doesn't show that. It's not showing us the result, even though we are hearing it. This fader is only gonna show what happens over here on the volume envelope. But both of these envelopes are being used, as you can hear. So though we can't arm this envelope, we can still adjust it. Let's undo it. We could draw it. And we'll still hear that difference. But again, we're not gonna see it over here. We could also trim it overall. Let's bring it down in real time. We'll bring it up. And because we don't see the change in our fader, if we bring this all the way down, we're not gonna hear the guitar, but there's no indication of why. So that's something to keep in mind. Let's undo this. The way this really gets powerful is using the trim envelope actions. So let's go to the action menu. And our filter, let's type in trim envelope. And here we see four actions that can be triggered for the trim envelope. Let's make this a bit smaller. Let's bring it down over here so we can see it. Now, once you get used to these actions, I'd recommend either adding a keystroke to them over here or creating a toolbar and creating a button for each one of them. Or you could use a menu, but either way, it's a lot quicker than using the action menu. But I'm gonna use the action menu in this tutorial because it's a lot easier and more obvious to see what we're doing, as it's written out right here. But as you learn this better, consider creating a keystroke or a toolbar button to perform these actions. Now this first one's pretty obvious. It's gonna to toggle the trim envelope visible. So we hit run, 
It hides it or it shows it. But here's where it gets interesting. If we choose this one right here, we could swap the volume envelope and the trim envelope. So now the automation shows up on the trim envelope instead of over here. So it's gonna sound the same, but we're not gonna see it over here. But it is changing to reflect this automation. But because it's on the trim envelope, instead of the volume envelope, we can now write more automation. For instance, right over here, this note, and these two notes are a bit louder than these and these. So now we can automate in trim mode to adjust that automation. So I brought down this note and these two, and now all the automation is being heard. But again, we're only seeing the volume automation over here, not the trim automation. But if we want to see both, we can combine it using this action over here. Apply trim envelope to volume envelope and then clear the trim envelope. So it's going to apply this envelope right here or this automation on top of this, but it's not going to replace it. It's going to combine it. So let's trigger this action. And now we see both envelopes combined and it cleared the trim envelope, which we can make visible again by triggering this action. So now let's hear it and watch the fader. Now it plays back everything. We hear the automation and we see it all on the fader. And now if we want to trim it again, again, not replace it, just adjust it, we could choose swap again. Hit run, moves it down here, so it's gonna sound the same. But we don't see it over here, and now we could rewrite more trim automation using the volume automation. So let's make it a bit lower overall, And again, we can combine them by applying the trim envelope to the volume envelope. So it's gonna add this one and this one together. Run it, and it combines them again. Let's hear it. And let's draw some automation over here. Let's bring this one note up a bit. And this note down a bit. And if you want to add that into the volume automation, just hit it again. Apply trim envelope to volume envelope. And it applies that change to the volume envelope. So by using this method, we have real trim automation, as we can automate on top of the automation, or trim the current automation. So that's pretty much it. That's using the trim envelopes in Reaper, which allows us to create trim automation using the trim envelope actions. So I hope you learned something, I hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh!